All right, guys, here we go. We're going to do a nice quattro stagione. That means four seasons pizza. Each one of the toppings represents a different one of the seasons. And it's a really nice, flavorful pizza. It has black and green olives. It has artichoke hearts. And it also has some nice mushrooms and prosciutto di parma. Um, again, when you have your toppings, always make sure you give them a little bit of seasoning. If you're using artichoke hearts, I like a little chopped parsley on there, a little bit of olive oil. Same thing with the mushrooms. I like to slice them fresh, add a little parsley and olive oil as well. Okay, so I'm going to make this pie with a little red sauce. And even the bees are happy today. They're coming around. All right, it's so good. So I'm going to put a little red sauce down on my peel. Get that going. Spread it around, not too heavy again. Remember, we're using the San Marzano tomatoes. This is a hand-crushed uh, sauce today. It's nice and light and it's nice and easy. All right, so we got this nice San Marzano tomatoes on top, and then we're gonna go nice and light. I'm gonna use a little bit of fresh mozzarella, little bocconcinis, fresh broken up balls. It's really nice. I don't like to make them too heavy. Again, the pizzas should never really be heavy. You want them to cook fast, you want them to cook easy, and you want to be able to taste a little bit of everything as you're making a pizza. You know, it's just not one big combined uh, ingredient. So don't get into burying the pizza. Make your pizza nice and light, nice and simple. Okay, so take your little mushrooms, go around your pizza. It's really nice. And there you go, we we'll throw them all on. These look really good. These are actually baby portobellos. I hit them with a little olive oil again and a little bit of parsley, a little bit of garlic powder. Always season your ingredients, make them really taste great, make them pop, make them come out. Uh, artichokes, same thing. You can roast them if you like them roasted, but they're usually nice if they're marinated, they're soft, they're really good. This looks great. You can see a little bit of parsley on them as well, olive oil. It's looking good already. We're getting the seasons going. Then we're going to take a little bit of fresh um, black olives and green olives. We slice them up just a little bit instead of putting them on whole so they don't roll around the pizza. And you can bite on them nice and easy as well. So it looks pretty good, right? And then when this comes out, I'm going to top it with some prosciutto and make it really nice. I like to put a little olive oil on again on top, just a nice drizzle. Hit it with a little Parmesan. I'm gonna kick up the flavor, drop a little fresh basil on it and cook it up, because this is about all different flavors. It's a great pizza, and we're gonna have lots of flavor, and we're going in the oven, and here we go. Fantastic. We got a nice little fire going there, and I'm gonna give it a quick crown, which really roasts the top. Oh yeah, look at that. That's just beautiful, all right? You really wanna enjoy a nice pizza with a lot of flavor. That's the pizza for you. Now again, you gotta have the prosciutto on this pie because it's one of the other seasons. Great looking pizza. You really like that pie, um, lots of flavor. It's got it all going on there, fresh basil, olives. Look at that, it's just a work of art. I love that pizza, you're gonna love it too.